your boy boss and welcome back to the channel so today is a work day in the fish room and your boy is a little under the weather so y'all gotta bear with me man if my voice sound like this it's because i got a little cold i've been fighting for the last few days that's why i haven't uploaded but your boy's feeling a little bit better today so i decided to come out here and get some work done because we gotta get some work done and my tanks are suffering from me not feeling the greatest right here I haven't had no lights on in the fish room for the last few days and these tanks are starting to show that as you can see this um horn right here is this browning out on me and this tank just need a really good cleaning anyways um, we got tons of new fry in the fish room um, we have some african cichlid females that i need to pull out of here and get them stripped and get their fry over here to the fry rack same with this aquarium down here we have a few females in here that are holding as well that i need to pull out and strip and get them over here to this fry rack all these fry that are in here are going to be coming out of here today and be getting moved to bigger aquariums so that way they continue to grow like i stated in my last video we have all these fry right here that are pretty much almost an inch in size and they're ready to come over here to this 55 gallon aquarium that i recently set up in the last video but this tank isn't ready yet because i haven't put any um seeded filtration on it yet so that won't be happening in this video that'll be in a separate video when i move all those fish over here uh, we got that 20 long down there empty so that way we can put some fry down there as well we got these two tanks that are open to grow out fish um as you can see right here i have these angel fish that have laid eggs on the rock but the eggs definitely aren't fertilized i think i want to take these angels and move them to this aquarium right here with that piece of slate that way when they lay eggs they can lay them on a the slate i can remove the slate raise the fry myself and see how that works and then we can just use this tank for like another grow out um because right now i just need to grow fish out over here we got tons of tons of fry in these aquariums that have been breeding for the last week or so uh, we even got a female in here in this atrocity of algae that's how you know that i haven't cleaned my glass i've been feeling well because look at the algae growth on my tank but we got a female right here that's holding so we need to strip her today as well um i think that's her second batch actually so that's always a good sign you can see here we got tons of little fry of these so we just got a lot of work to do down here in the fish room i went ahead and moved um this light that was on that fry rack down there i put the light on this tank just to, so that way this tank can get better lighting and hopefully these plants can do a little bit better i'm hoping that these plants can do it because they wasn't really doing the greatest because this is just straight sand no eco complete no dirt none of that fancy stuff just straight sand if you come over here to the bass tank let's check out the bass anyways this is our smaller bass we got a bigger one as you guys see in the other video but uh take out this tank this tank is a dirty tank so you can see we got a lot of runners that come off in this aquarium tons of runners tons of plant growth like just runners everywhere but this is a dirty aquarium and it got like this shop light on it and it still grows these plants fairly good over here on this tank we just got regular sand no dirt and we had the shop light above it but it's just not growing it as i would like so i'm gonna try this light on here and see what it does and you know see how i do but all the fish in here are doing good first time actually looking at them in the last few days i've just been coming down here feeding my fish and going upstairs and laying down your boy has not been feeling the greatest look we even got fry in here i need to move out and take down here this will all their fry lives down here these guys i don't even got their light on over here let me turn their light on i got red devil somebody actually they want to see him a lot more red devil is beautiful beautiful fish though i'm going to put the dough by down there um with the bass because we just got this bass in here and we got a clown knife that hides back here actually you can see his body right there yeah, that's his little silhouette of his body right there so that's the only two fish in this of course i think i'm gonna put the dough by in there all these fish in here are doing just fine everybody's doing good I haven't did anything with the 40 breeders i did read you guys comments man you guys killed that last video a lot of you guys say i should escape them i should put the backgrounds on them i mean you guys killed that video so i appreciate all the support you guys continue to give me um but i don't know what i'm gonna do yet we'll still decide that at a future day look at all these kermitsi babies in here they just a slow growing fish they just take forever to grow like it ain't like an african or even guppies grow faster than them So 
we done warped into the night and I didn't film moving fish around, stripping fry and doing all that stuff. I didn't want to bore you guys with that footage, but I'm gonna give you an update on everything that's going on new in the fish room right now with this first tank over here. See if we can get a nice little zoom in on these guys. But these are some yellow top hung guys. And I will show you guys their parents here soon. Over here, we got some, I want to say yellow, no, excuse me, red top hung guys. And they come from, that's the daddy right there. Stunning male. And I think the female is, she's one of these females. Oh, she's in the back back there hanging out. But if you look, this female right here, the bigger one, she's holding as well. I went to go strip her, open her mouth, and she still had eggs in there. So I just left, it, left her in there. Um, I'm going to let the eggs hatch in her mouth, let the fries thrive in her mouth for about a week or two, and then I'll move them out of there and put them up here with the other fry. And by then, these guys should be a little bit bigger. And if you notice, all my fry tanks have a lot of moam in them. And I keep them pretty dirty because, you know, this is the fry first little food, little microorganisms they're going to be able to eat that live inside the moam and stuff. So that's why I keep them real moamy and dirty and stuff like that. So for the people who be like, oh, your tanks is really dirty. This I keep them like that on purpose so that way the fry have things, little microorganism things to eat off on as soon as they come out the mom. Now over here, super excited about these fish. You can see we have quite a few of them in here. And that's a decent little shot of them right here. But the thing about these guys, and let me show you, they came from this mama right, where's she at? Let's see if I can get them over here because I know they all hungry right now. This the mama right here, the little girl. So that's the mama, and I can't remember the name of them, but it start with a T, but I believe they're Lake Victorian. Uh, but the thing kicker is, I don't have any males for her, so she crossed with somebody in this tank. And I believe she crossed with the zebra oblique one male, or that Lake Victorian male. I don't know, but I believe that's who she, or this, or this uh, white zebra. I don't know who she crossed with, to be honest, but I'm super excited to see what her fry come out with i can see she's already doing good i have stripped her she's back looking good she wasn't really skinny in the first place so it's good to see her doing good after stripping her but these are all her fry now so we're gonna have to just watch and see these guys grow up and see what they turn into um they might come out to be an awesome looking fish so super excited about that but these are like the three new fry like far as africans that we got in the fish room here I have moved in all my cherry shrimp into this tank. If you guys remember, I had all my cherry shrimp down there. I went ahead and added in all these in the tank. It's a lot of water spots on this tank. I didn't wipe it off my bag, y'all. But this is where I added in all the Carbinci babies into here. There's about 50 Carbinci babies. And I went ahead and threw in all these other Tetras and things that I had living in the two and a half. So I just went ahead and put them in here just to get this tank a little bit of life. Added some rock, added a couple plants, and just gonna leave it like this. And I'm just gonna let these Kerbinsis grow up in here with these guys. And this is just gonna be the situation for a while because these Kerbinsis, like I said, they grow very, very, very slow and they take forever to get big. So I'm not gonna dedicate a whole big old tank for them by themselves. They're gonna have to just coexist with other fish until they get a decent size. Now this second row here, I moved a bunch of fries. So this tank is our platinum guppy fries. So you can see there's tons of these guys in here. this tank we got our tiger mosaic fry you can see they're very very small and we're just gonna force feed them i change these tanks at least two or three times a week um that way the fish can grow a lot faster you know so that's why i got them in these small aquariums i changed the water a lot i could force feed them and then with these smaller tanks the fish don't have to swim all over the place looking for food all the food's going to be in one central location in this tank we got our carolina blue um guppies in here See if we can get a focus on it. They're so prematurely small. But we got them in there. I can see my temperature at 74 right now. That's pretty good because none of these tanks got heaters. In. Down here, you're probably not going to be able to see these guys. But this is where I put the bigger hung guys and the zebra oblique ones that was up there. As you can see, yeah. So these are the yellow top hung guys and the zebra oblique ones. So they all are just going to live in here. And there's 20 long probably for like another 30 days. Um, that way I can try to get them to the size of these guys over here, which wanna hide and run away. Once I get them to this size, then I can off move all these fish to this aquarium. And I went ahead and put some biological media up in here that's already seated. I got a sponge filter in here that I just need to hook up a 
airline two and this tank could be ready as well and i just got this little filter in here so this tank should be seated in the next couple days to be ready for all those smaller africans to go in there i'll probably make a separate video adding those fish over here i went ahead and added that dovi into this aquarium this female dovi so she is coexisting just fine with this um bass right now i'm not seeing any aggression out of them you can see they just coasting through doing their thing nobody's fighting nobody's chasing each other because you can see this dovi um fins was knit pretty good and that's from that red double so should heal up in here very well should be doing really good eventually once these fish get bigger i can move them to a bigger aquarium but right now they just they just growing slow so there's no point of me wasting big tanks on them they're not really growing that fast anyways they're not outgrowing my tanks it's like that red devil the red devil's getting big fast but the dovi and his bass really ain't growing that fast so they can just continue to live out live out in this 55. this tank i moves a tons of mystery snails out of here and we still got more look at all these mystery snails on the glass we got tons and tons of mystery snails but i did a nice like 90 percent water change on this aquarium so this tank is looking back pristine like it should and it should trigger these uh plecos in here to have some babies that's the male right there nice little bristle nose male so it should trigger them to have some more spawning going on because i just did a nice little water change on them and most of the time every time i do a water change they have babies most of the time so hopefully that triggers that and i can't wait to have some more fry of them in the fish room we got quite a few plecos but not enough for me to sell them i want to have hundreds and hundreds i probably got about a good hundred of them but i need them in other tanks and stuff in my fish room before i can sell them so i need a few more batches and then i can start selling look at these africans over here they just hungry at all times i did a water change on this tank too so everybody in here is looking pretty good Look at the eyes on that white one. It's like bloody red. And honestly, though, this white one is my oldest fish in the fish room. I had this fish probably about three years now. Maybe three years. I had about six of them, and this is the only one I had left. And it's probably the oldest fish in the fish room, to be honest. Slow growing, but the oldest fish in the fish room. We went ahead and moved these angel fish into this tank so that where they can hopefully potentially breed in here. I got that slate set up on the glass. So hopefully in the next week or two, once they get adjusted to this tank, after being moved from that one, they will start breeding in here and I can pull that slate out of here, put the slate into a different aquarium and pray that we can raise these angel fry up. Cause I really would like to breed some angel fish. Um, never bred angels, but I think it would be super dope. And I just want to try it out and see how it looks. Um, I think them two would make some really dope little babies though because they got the white and the black. I think they probably would come out looking pretty dope. So this is where I took out all the platinum um, babies from. And make sure ain't no more in there. That's the female right there. Yeah, that's the little female. And we don't have any male, so we gotta hope that these fry grow up and we got a nice male out of them and then we just, you know what I'm saying, sex them back with this one and just keep the line strong. These are all the tiger mosaics right here. Let's see where y'all at. Oh, there's one fat female right in my face. Oh, she ready to drop again. I haven't had any new breeding with these guys and I don't know why, but I just haven't had any more breeding yet. Same with these ones. Nothing yet out of these guys. I had them probably about three to four weeks. I probably need to add more plants to this aquarium, but we just haven't yet to have any fry. I've had this strand for two years and and it just they just slow growing. They don't do very well for me. I don't have an abundance of them, um, but it's still a beautiful fish nonetheless. I like playing with them. Over here, we got these Carolina Blues, like I showed you guys. We got took all day Friday. I just left all the juveniles in here, and we just got the juveniles and the breeders in here. So look at that little pleco right here, just chilling, yo. Over here, this is the yellow top hung guy. See if we can get this male to come out. Uh. Oh, that's the female right there the male must be hiding in the back but these are the yellow top i went ahead and cleaned my glass as you can see i left the sides like it i don't know why i like that it just looks so 
natural and rustic looking i don't know but you can see the females back there and that's the one i had stripped so hopefully they can start breeding again we can get some more fry them these fire tail guppies over here haven't done anything yet so i just added more hornwort in here so we'll see let this hornwort take off because these lights that i got up here yo these lights do not play around i just trimmed all the hornwort out of this tank today and, and put it in different aquariums and it's still a bunch in here so these lights do not play around they definitely growing the crap out of my plants and stuff so uh hopefully we'll have plenty more homework here soon and for the people that um want to talk stuff about them being in this tank if you follow me on instagram you would know that we got something major on the way for all these guys shout out to rachel for sending me these plants i went ahead and added these boost plants into this aquarium i just like stuck it to the wood so hopefully you know it does well and these fish don't bother them but we added a little bit of plant work into this tank just to give it a little bit more life and you see this potho just doing what it won't and look at this it's like every little spot is growing a new plant like that's a new plant that's a new plant new plant like this over here just a new plant i'm thinking about chopping all of them off and place them in different tanks and just see if they just take off again but we added a little little greenery to this tank to give it a little bit of life let me show you guys these guys down here it's looking really good down here all these um tiger barbs in here with these brevises which aren't breeding yet and which concerns me because there's about 20 of them in there but they're not breeding but the tiger barbs do make them come out and, and actually swim around but otherwise they would just be hiding inside the little shells tiger barbs look good in here i ain't even gonna lie like one of my favorite like community fish period i love tiger barbs there's just something about them Look at our bed over here. I haven't shown him. I haven't seen him since uh, we set this tank up. But he's still alive. <laughs> yeah, that's surprisingly for me because I cannot keep bettas alive at all. They always just like kick the bucket on me. But he is doing good. The tank is looking absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> all the plants in here, everything is looking really good. I think I'm gonna add maybe some root tabs or something like that to it just to make sure these plants don't die back on me in the future but i think they're doing good like i've seen a lot especially with these crypts up front like this one right here in the middle like it's taking off it was not that bushy when i first got it same with that uh moss on that wood right there that moss was not not that much so it's definitely growing that sore back there i can see a little bit of brown in so i might have to add some root tabs back there but for the most part everything in here is looking Good. but yeah so that's gonna be pretty much it for today's video man just wanted to give you guys an update on all the new fry that's going on in the fish room um it's always new stuff going on we got tons of babies in every tank some babies i don't even take out i just let them just do their thing and there's some i try especially the africans i separate the africans i strip them and i do what i do with the africans but there were some of the guppies i don't even bother and then some of them i do it just depends on how much i like them to be honest with you but that's going to be pretty much it for today's content, man. Uh, make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified when I drop these videos. I got some awesome content coming for you guys, man. We finna turn it up here in 2022. So if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, make sure you go follow me on Instagram because I post a lot of updates on there. Um, stuff that, you know, it's probably like a week or two out before it hit YouTube. I'm always updating on there. So make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram at Boss Aquatics. And uh, just stay tapped into what I got going on. And keep supporting me. Keep supporting the channel. Keep doing what y'all doing. And I will catch you guys in my next video. I'm out of here.